This is a candle nut. Why is it called? I mean, like, can you light it up? No, right? Uh, you could try. Shoot for the main taiko. Not, not the thing. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Technically, everything could be set on fire if you wanted it badly enough. Welcome to another episode of Slice of Life. My name is Neva and on this show, I learn how to cook dishes that are significant to my guests. My guest for today, she believes that food can tell us a lot about our personality. She's got an amazing voice and you've probably seen her mad cooking skills on MasterChef. It's none other than Inch Chua. Hi! I'm Inch, a singer-songwriter, producer, as well as an all-round creative. I'm also very passionate about sustainability and climate justice and most recently, to the public, a food person now. <laughs> Inch, master chef, all right? You got into the top 12. Mm. How do you feel? Honestly, I was rather surprised that I made it that far. <laughs> Did your family and friends expect you to come this far? The thing is that my friends and family have always been very supportive because I am the designated cook most of the time in the family, uh, with my friends. However, I always just assume everyone's polite when they say your food is nice. And you know, they're all biased because they're your friends. <laughs> exactly, your right? Today, we're going to be making how I reimagined my grandma's ota and called it Sting Tang Tong. Sting Tang Tong. That's right, because it's made out of stingray, uh -huh. batang fish, and soft tong. So Sting Tang Tong. The creativity level of this <laughs> dish, okay? I am in amazement. <laughs> it's playful. I mean, it sounds playful, and it obviously is a much more playful take of my grandma's ota. Uh, we used to have it on rice all the time, and instead of having it on rice, we're going to put it on a rice cracker and have it as a what the French call an amuse bouche. Amuse bouche. Which is a fancy name for appetizer. All right, so Inch, tell me what are the ingredients we need and how are we going to start this? We're going to start with a basic rumpa. We have chilies, dried chilies, cinnamon, candle nuts, coriander seed, galangal, which is ginger. We have garlic, sugar, ginger oil, fish sauce, turmeric powder, lachan, some salt, white peppers, fennel seeds as well, and shallot. To make this dish, you would first need to roast some of the spices and break them down to make the rumpa. So then now, what you're gonna do is gonna start blending the rest of the rumpa. We're totally just againg everything. Um, okay, I'm gonna help you hold. Yeah, I was just thinking about it. <laughs> Oh dear lord! <laughs> so now we're gonna fry whatever that we just pulverized, okay? You can try to skip it to the next hob. This will actually like sort of like fry off any of the rawness that we have in it. Add the proteins and mix everything in the blender. We're gonna blend all the meat. Ooh. Okay, it might get a bit stuck. So. Okay, one, two, three, let's go. Hey, hello. Oh. <laughs> Did I break your blender? No, you're fine, don't worry. Nothing to panic yet. Uh, I think it died. <laughs> oh my god! That's okay, that's okay. I, I mean, broke your blender! It happens. Sometimes. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I'll tell you what. Um, fret not. We can always improvise in the kitchen. Okay. Let's do this old school style. So the old school way is that you obviously just try to mince it first. This is quite a workout, guys. <laughs> if you're having a chopping board that's kind of shifting around, mm -hmm. just take a paper towel, wet it, put it on the bottom. Not gonna move after that. Kitchen Hacks 101 by Inch <laughs> Chua, guys. An eternity later. <laughs> so how you know when it's ready is that it's become like indistinguishably a paste. So we just need to smash the rumpa and the fish and make them one. Now let's cook the ota by stir frying the blend in a pan till it becomes flaky and floss like. Shape them into oyster shells and tear them up. <laughs> <laughs> Fry up the rice paper and dust salt on the crackers to taste. To make the aioli, we combine Dijon mustard, garlic, salt, lime zest, and lime juice and egg yolk. And blend. Put your back into it, girl. Try. I'm trying. I'm trying. Slowly add in oils to emulsify. You could do it in whichever order. Usually when I'm making this dish, I do this all at the same time. Why don't you stop? No, nothing. <laughs> Put some of the floss on the rice crackers, add a squeeze of aioli, torch it with just a bit of a smoky flavor, and seashell leaves and ikura to garnish. Wow, 
One, two, three, let's go. Mmm. Nice and crispy. Mmm. I'm pleasantly surprised. Mmm. Despite all the setbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Inch, if you had to rate this dish out of five. Mmm. That's a good. That's a good nine. Out of five, I get a nine. <laughs> How do you see this? Okay, like you have music and you have food at the same time, like cooking and everything. Both are passions. Do you see it both separately or is it something that you see together? I feel like everything's mashed into one. As human beings, we're more than our vocation. In fact, like when I first joined MasterChef, a lot of people were like, Oh, and so are you going to quit music? Are you going to be a chef now? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Why do I have to pick between both, you know? I love to cook. I'm passionate about it. Having this unsatisfied appetite of curiosity for life and love and all the things that I want to do. I mean, you wouldn't know, maybe tomorrow you might do horseback riding? Yeah, who knows? Horseback riding, fencing, I don't know. <laughs> or, or just be an accountant, who knows? Yeah, who knows? You never know. <laughs> How is it like convincing mm. your parents? I want to pursue music. First starting out, I think it was very difficult to convince my parents that being an artist was a good idea. I think they would just don't want to see me be in pain. Yeah. But nonetheless, they allowed me to make mistakes. If you go to any entrepreneur talk, they'll always be like, Failing is the best thing in life that has ever happened to me. Every YouTube ad also. <laughs> right? Every YouTube ad would say that. And I don't like how flippant people talk about it because to me, it's, I agree to some extent, failure is an important part to introduce into people's like experiences. You know, take risks, but understand what those risks mean. And when if you do fail, um, it's really important to learn how to heal. Now my next question, how do you recover? Hug a cat. That always helps first. <laughs> Step one, Before find a cat the, and hug it. <laughs> just find any cat, guys. Just, just find, find a cat. cat. Honestly, do something that brings you joy. 101 self-care, right? I do have a wonderful philosophy is that passion is extremely important. But at some point, passion needs to graduate to become passion. Mm -hmm. And what you do somehow needs to contribute to the world and has an effect on the world. It, it needs to go beyond you. If I were to create, Hopefully, it puts out some good into the world. What's next for you? I'm right now working on a new album at the moment. The new album's called Childish, and a lot of it talks about how important it is to sometimes look at the world as a child likeness at the same time. It's also good to explore any kind of childhood trauma that you have, and it will be out in October this year, and our first single's coming out in June. So is this the first time you're telling it to media? Yes. Oh. There guys, you have it, <laughs> on Slice of Life. I had such a great time being in the kitchen with you, uh, amazing team, amazing kitchen as well, and good conversation. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, of course. If you wanted to find out more and have this kind of conversations, head on down to at This Is Scope. And if you'd like to find out more about me, you can go with at This Is Inch. Guys, do look out for the next episode of Slice of Life. We're signing out. Bye! Out. You can just watch me. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a bit of the ikura. There's no more ikura. <laughs> so much. It's just all ikuras. You have one. You have one. Yeah, everyone. Get on your seat. Everybody gets ikura.